Good morning from Eagle Nest Lake Campground here in northern New Mexico and welcome to the vlog. Hope you're having a great day here. It's a beautiful morning. You know, we have the typical big old fluffy clouds going by and it's calling for thunderstorms in the afternoon and that seems to definitely be a pattern for the weather here. Yeah. Today's talking point is going to be about an aspect of the RV life that really could hit home, literally, because it's about home, getting homesick. And right now, I have to say I am getting a little bit homesick. I think we both are. It's been a common thread in our conversations the last few weeks in particular. Yep. But we're going to get out on the water and we'll talk about it a little bit more out there. Okay, well, I'm being a good girl today and wearing my vest because the park ranger just got on his loud mic and told me I had to put my vest on or get off the water. <laughs> it's a good idea. There's motorized uh, boats all around here. It's not like it's a non-motorized lake, so. You got in trouble. Oh, shut up. It would have been you if you'd come out here first. Ah, uh, gotta love rules, huh? It is a state park. Well, I know it's a losing battle uh, on the life vest issue, but you can assure when we're on like a uh, river that moves quick or the ocean or, you know, someplace where if you fall in, your life will really truly be in danger. Uh, we do wear our vests, but on a calm, beautiful lake, you know, I just don't see the sense in it. Hey, each state has its own rule and I know they're a good thing. But back to the talking subject of the I, day. I have to interrupt you though. Okay. He said it must be fully fastened and your top button's undone. <laughs> okay, so I am especially feeling homesick right now and I'm not necessarily feeling homesick for being physically in our house for say I'm feeling homesick because it's summertime in Alaska you know Alaska is very much alive in the winter you know there it's a magnificent place in the winter but in the summer man everything just comes to life it's just like the animals they uh, feed like mad in the summer and the fish feed like mad in the summer because it's the getting season I'm truly missing it because Facebook you know I see all our friends in Alaska they're going out fishing I missed the combat fishing tournament where we take soldiers out and that one hurt you know that was a big letting go for me to uh, stay down here for an extra couple months but yeah I kind of just miss Alaska I I will have to disagree with you I, I do miss our house because I really miss the king size bed. <laughs> okay, and the bathtub. You've mentioned that a few times. <laughs> okay, okay. <coughs> Only twice when I had a bathtub. Twice? Come on, guys. How many times do you think she's mentioned that she <laughs> misses a bathtub? Put it in the comments below. I really do miss... Um, we didn't get to plant a garden this year because we're down here too late. Um, and, and like Ben, you know, there's so many things to do, like... Um, favorite hike in Seward is out to Tonsina. You can have a picnic out on the beach and um, I mean the list could go on forever of the things that we're missing at home right now. I think it also really helps if you love the place where you live and we truly love Alaska. We love our community. We love our friends up there and it just helps if you love where you live compared to if you live in Timbuktu and it's just the most boring dull place around. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be there either. <laughs> mm. Well, I think that, you know, like the sunshine is out now and there's just uh, so many things to go do with your friends. And I really do miss our friends too. We have a wonderful community and uh, 
And it's great with, you know, social media because you can keep in touch with everybody and see what everyone's doing. But I'm looking forward to having some dinners together and bonfires and hanging out on the back deck and fun stuff like that. We have background music here today. We you do. hear that? That's some pontoon boats playing their music. I wonder if there's any rules about uh, noise. <laughs> okay, uh, so you can't talk about home life without talking about family. This pa these past two winters, we've spent more time with our families than we had since we moved to Alaska. Like this year, we've done Thanksgiving, Christmas, my birthday, Mother's Day with family, and I do miss that. So, um, and we have family in Alaska too, because everybody in Seward is a transplant, just about. And so when you're all far away from your family, you, you create a, a community where you help each other just like family does. So we did the math this morning and we have been on the road 16 of the past 20 months. And that's a long time to be on the road. And in respect to the road that we are on, I am getting a little bit bored. Yeah, I know we have only scratched the surface of uh, the United States. There's always more to see. But in some ways, I'm more of a sampler platter kind of guy. I want to get a little bit of France. I want to get a little bit of Germany. Yeah, I'll take some Guatemala. Give me some Nicaragua. Give me some Bolivia. I'm more that. Like, I would rather cast a wide net than like a narrow line, personally. You won't hear any argument from me. I love to travel overseas. <laughs> and hence why we are progressing on uh, our dreams of RVing around the world. Huge fish just jumped out of the water. Really? Like the head was like that, that big. I guess I'll have to buy a fishing license. My ego is a little bruised after taking that beating in the uh, California High Sierra. So this uh, paddle there today. Too early. Yeah, but this paddle uh, and the fish activity that I see will dictate whether or not I buy a fishing license. We're going to kayak around the lake and see what the day brings, but thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe so you can see what we're up to tomorrow. Have a great day.